What is up and welcome back. And today we have part three of this series, learning how to claw grip better or just improving how you hold a controller so you don't get any pain or soreness in your hands and fingers. I'm also going to give you some tips so you can improve your recovery time. Then you can play a lot longer and not get any pain or soreness. And that's gonna be pretty nice, right? Because you can have a long session, plus you're going to play better anyway when you're playing stress-free. So with that said, let's dive right in. Now the first thing I do want to talk about is going to be, I do have a question that somebody asked, how come I'm getting pain in my index finger and nowhere else? And what I want everybody to get out of this part is think about your situation, how you can apply what we're going to talk about. And in this case, I want everybody to understand, when you do get pain or soreness, it means that you're holding the controller in an awkward position or you're moving your finger or your hand in some weird way that's going to cause some stress or tension in your hands. And in this case, I'm going to demonstrate. If you do hold the controller in a natural state, it's going to be like this. You see the hand? There's no tension, no stress. That's gonna be very good. But when you are trying to claw grip, excuse me, and you turn your finger like that, right? You're trying to press down the button like this. So you see when you're turning your finger, your hand is now like this. This finger is turning too much and especially if you are pressing hard, you're going to have your hand in this awkward position. It's not natural anymore. Right here is natural and then you're turning it way too much. And you're holding on the control, then you're going like this. So that right there is going to cause some pain going from this area and maybe even shooting up your arm. So that's not gonna be good, especially if you do it for a long time. You're too into the game and you're doing this a lot. So what can we do to improve this? Try to learn how to find how you can put your hand in a natural form. Like right here, this shape is like my hand is. You see? Now if I'm doing the claw grip in this way, I'm going to be pressing down with the side of my finger. Not the top part like this going to be with the side. And that's going to help out a whole lot where my hand is like this, no pain, easy and smooth. All you have to do is learn to press the button like that. It just takes practice, just practice. And that right there is going to help out a whole lot. So you can see this is a one case of having some pain just for this finger because it's turning too much. Now I'm going to give you another example so you can start to see what I'm talking about. What about if you're getting pain in the middle finger? So if you're claw gripping the control like this, right? And maybe you're stretching this finger way too much. You see what's going on? It's a natural state of my hand. I have the controller like this. And now this finger is stretching way too much. That means now I'm um, turning this finger more than usual, or maybe it's stretching out too far. So I'm going to get pain in this finger and it might shoot upwards again through my arm. So in that case, what can you do is slide your hand a little bit more down. So this finger, when you have your hand all the way up here, it might be stretching too much. When you slide your hand down, now it's more natural. You see that? And also if you do learn how to press the button with the sides of this finger, then it's gonna make it easier for you to hold the controller. Because if you're going like this, you see, now this finger has to do a longer stretch because I'm pressing down like this. See, now this finger has to stretch over here. So you see how you can problem solve this by the hand sliding down. So now this doesn't stretch, and now I'm pressing down with the side on my finger, and it's gonna make it easy for this finger. And that's what it's going to take. It's not hard, it's just, when you're playing a game, maybe you're moving your hand in weird positions, and you just have to see, okay, that's why my hand is hurting, and try to learn to do it, maybe when the game's off. I have to do this, okay? It's easy when the game's off, because you're not nervous, you're not getting shot at, Right, it just makes it a lot easier. And then when you plug it in, now you have that practice. So that's going to be, again, one way the problem solved if you're having pain in certain fingers 
or in your hand. If your hand is hurting or your forearms are hurting, you might be doing something weird. And I'll give you another example. What about if your arm is hurting, right? It might be that you're holding the controller too much like this. You're too stressed out, too much tension, and you're doing a match 15 minutes, 30 minutes, or maybe you're playing a campaign or maybe you're playing a war zone or something, a match that takes a really long time. So you're gonna be in this position for a long time. So that means you're tensing up your forearms and even maybe your shoulders and a little bit of your chest because you're holding the control so tight. So in those situations, you are going to feel some soreness and maybe a little bit of pain in certain areas. So what do you have to do? Learn to play relax, right? Where you're not feeling that muscle tying up. Or if you do have a table, you can rest your arms on that table and that does help out a whole lot. Or put a pillow and now you're resting your arms on the pillow so you're more relaxed. And that is going to help you out where you can play a lot longer and have less pain. So that's gonna be some tips, right? And just think about what you do. Maybe when you hop on and you're relaxed, but as the game is going on, you're doing things that you don't notice. So try to catch those things. They are really going to help you out. Now, I do wanna talk about a few things next. And this is going to help you just play a lot longer and reduce the soreness if you have some, or even some pain. And it's going to be learning how to stretch. I know there's a lot of info out there on how to stretch, and a lot of players do say, or I talk to different people or friends, and they'll say, man, I'm doing it the right way, but my hand hurts or my fingers hurt. And I tell them, let me see what you're doing, and we problem solve that. And then I ask them, are you really stretching? And they go, sort of, and think about your case. Do you play for an hour? How many times are you stretching in that hour? Do you play two or three hours? How many times are you stretching? Or are you sitting down there for three hours and not even standing up, right? Because if you think about it, maybe in an hour you play five matches. If you can stretch in between those five matches and do this, you're moving your fingers back, right? Also turn like this, so you're not getting any tension in your back, your neck as well. Take your time, maybe don't go too fast. And not just that, but a lot of people don't realize that when their hands cramping up, it can mean that your forearms, you're too tense. So learn how to massage your forearms. Believe me, this is a huge tip. It's kind of like a little secret. Once you start doing this, you're gonna find out, wait a minute, I didn't even know this muscle was real tight. And this right here is going to loosen up your whole arm right here, your whole arm and even your hand and your fingers, especially this area. Move over to the back of your arm, your shoulders. You're gonna find certain areas that are really tense. Like right here, I can feel a little bit right here, always in the forearms, above the forearm, on the top, and even on the inside. And if you do that a few times while you're gaming, before you're gaming, after you're gaming, it is going to improve you a whole lot. You're not gonna have any pain afterwards. It does really help big time, believe me, okay? And not just that, but stand up, right? How are you gonna be sitting down for three hours like this and then get up and you have a hard time standing up? Or maybe your legs are gonna fall asleep. So standing up and having some circulation, some blood, flow going, it does, again, improve a whole lot. Plus you're getting some oxygen through your whole system. And everybody knows when you do have enough oxygen, you can think a lot more clearer, right? So those are little tips that can go a long way. So don't disregard them. Really try to get some practice in, right? In between sessions, it is going to help you out. Get some recovery going. Now, I'm gonna give you another big time tip because I'm gonna keep it real, right? Stretching or massaging is not that fun compared to actually playing the game. So you might be doing this for a little while, maybe 30 seconds on both sides, and you're like, 
forget that, right? Because you want to play the game. But if you can do something fun that's going to help your hands, it's just going to make it a lot easier to put in that recovery time. And one thing I like to do that I've noticed is after I game for an hour or two and I go to the gym and get some exercise, exercise is good also. Get your mind right. That I've noticed that when the ball is bouncing off the ground, it's pushing my fingers back. And I really didn't catch that at first, but I would notice, man, how come it feels so good when I'm bouncing the ball? Then I realized it because I am getting that therapy in. The ball pushing my hand back, pushing my fingers back. And I like to play basketball a lot. So if I get an hour or two in, that's big time improvement for my hands. That's why I didn't realize this, but when I started gaming, I rarely got sore because I was doing a lot of basketball too. So that's a big time tip if you do like to go outdoors or indoors at a gym. You know, when you're bouncing a ball, it is going to help out your fingers. So that's something you can utilize if you do like doing that sport. Now, a few more other things that I feel are going to help you. I have this right here. Use it from time to time. There's nothing better than using your hands, but you can use something like this. This right here, you can put it in the freezer, this one, and it gets cold. So you get that cold therapy. Even the pros, I know you've seen the pros on TV or when you're watching something on being live stream, and they have those little bags, those ice bags. That's what they're doing. They're keeping the soreness out of their hands and fingers. Same thing with something like this. There's a real cold going to help you out. Icing your arm. Even getting a little bowl, right? With some cold water and just putting your hands in there. Believe me, it does help out. So that's where I'm going to talk about these two products that I, I'm not sponsored by them in any way. I just use these on my own because I do use them for basketball and they have helped me out a lot for a whole bunch of years. I do like the Penetrex, which is more of a cream. And I like using this during the day. I'll put some cream right here on my hands, on my forearms. And then an hour or two later, I might hop on on the console. And this right here helps out. Or when I go to sleep, put some of this on my hands. Right? And it's not hot or it's not cold. It's kind of a little bit in between, like warm. And it does really help out. It's supposed to be for arthritis and has a whole bunch of natural ingredients. And you don't have to start using something like this when you're falling apart. You can use it when you're young. It's just going to keep your hand health a lot better so you can game real good for a long time. And this one right here is going to be called BioFreeze, the professional one. And I love this stuff because you spray it on and it just feels super cold. I use it on my knees when I'm playing ball. But also, the sometimes I use it before going to sleep, but it can be a little too cold at times when you spray it. But I do, I don't mind it, but I know other people do. But if you don't mind before going to sleep, spray your hands with it. It gets real cold and you're sleeping. And then when you wake up, you're gonna feel refreshed. Or if you're gonna game, maybe in five hours, spraying on your hand, you're out doing something if it doesn't bother you. And then when it's time to play your hands, you can feel that they got some nice therapy on them. So any little thing that can just help you improve, I think is a plus and it doesn't cost a whole lot. You just have to get one of these and use it from time to time or if you want to use it more on a regular basis. But those little things are really going to help you out so you can be stress-free, tension-free, nothing feeling too tight. And then when you hop on, you're going to be lasering because you're not going to be worrying about how you feel because you're going to feel great. So that right there is going to be this video. And like I said, there are a lot of other methods that you can pick up. It's just finding what's going to work for you. I did try in the past where you do put, they kind of look like um, brass knuckles. You put them on your fingers. You're supposed to stretch your hands with them. And those didn't work for me. So try go online maybe try what i mentioned if it works for you use it if it doesn't try to find something else if you're going to be stretching like this and that works also and 
doesn't cost anything just make sure you stay on top of it and you can probably find some expensive tools out there i even think they have a hand massager now for gaming i never tried it but if you can afford it and maybe that works better for you go out and buy it right it's pretty much going to be up to you but definitely do something that's what i want everybody to take home the take home message because if you're going to be gaming for hours and hours every week and imagine you don't do none of this that we talked about what's going to happen five years down the road ten years down the road you might have some really messed up hands and fingers and this pain plus I have heard of people who maybe didn't know about these things and they've gotten surgery. So you don't want it to go all the way to that point. If you can do something that's gonna help you out right now, you're gonna feel good. You can play for a long time without any pain or minimal soreness. Just gonna be a huge plus. So that's going to be the video and hopefully you got something out of it. If you did, please sub and like. I am a smaller channel. We'll be back more with next time. Until then, peace and much love.